Uh, okay, in this tutorial we're going to be looking at uh, the social section uh, of the components palette and we're going to be looking at how to make the app send a text message and also how to make the app be able to pick a phone number from a list of contacts. So just to start off with, I have a couple of text fields and a couple of labels and also a button. So the idea is that the user is going to write in their text message here write in their phone num write in a phone number and then the app is going to be able to send the message to the phone number. So I'm going to have a look at what blocks I need in order to be able to do this. So the trigger is going to be when the send button is clicked and then I'm going to need to be able to uh, take the text messaging component and I'm first of all going to need to set the phone number and I'm also going to need to set the message. So the data for these two um, elements is going to need to be uh, so from the fields, so I'm taking whatever is in the text field text to be the message and what is ever, whatever is in the phone field text to be the phone number. And if both of those two things are okay, then the idea is that we can now uh, call the send message method of send text message and then the app will send the message. So with the idea of implementing robustness at this point, I probably want to make sure that both of those things are okay before we try and get the app to send uh, the message. Otherwise, we're going to encounter some runtime errors at some point. So again, very similar to what we've done before. Um, <coughs> so using an if statement. And what we can do is we can check something about this. So uh, I'm first of all just going to set I'm going to use logic and I'm going to say if enter text field, uh, sorry, enter phone field is blank, then I'm going to need an error message. And I'm going to take another if statement that's going to check. Again, just similar to what we did in the first exercise, uh, I'm going to check um, length. and a phone number has to be 11 digits long. So at this point actually there's a better way to do this. If I'm checking that the length must be 11 digits I don't really need to check whether the, there's a string present so I'm going to switch this one around and I'm going to make this checking if the text message field has been entered. So if that is <coughs> Uh, let me just use switch these around. So I'm looking for so if that's not blank, and there's 11 digits in the phone number, then we can send the text message. Otherwise, I'm going to make those notifications come up uh, showing problems. Oh, so just drag that on, and taking notify and just using it to show an alert. Uh, oops, don't forget to add my else branch of the if statement for each of the ones. And I'm going to place this inside the when button click event handler. Okay, remember it matches, so this one was going to be phone number must have 11 digits. Obviously this at this point isn't totally robust, I'm just doing this quickly to show you an example. We also probably need to check that the phone number is only made up of digits and not letters. There's several other different things you could do to ensure the robustness of this app, but this is just a small example. Uh, text message cannot be blank. So I'm now going to have a go at um, testing the app. So the text message data is here and I've put in an invalid length phone number so hopefully what they should do is display this alert telling me that the phone number must have 11 digits which it does so now as soon as I put in um, an 11 digit phone number the app will validate the data and it will tell me that the message has been sent so obviously because this is only using the Android emulator uh, it doesn't actually send the text message because it's not a fully functioning phone um, I'm going to have a look at showing you uh, a different method now, so I'm going to remove some of these components and rather than the user having to type in the phone number, we're going to take something else from the social section and we're going to use this phone number picker element 
to allow them to choose a recipient. Nowadays it's going to present a list of all the contacts in the phone and then the app will be able to get the phone number from the contact that is chosen. So uh, in Bloxview all that you notice is that um, any of the blocks that belong to the deleted text box component um, have now disappeared. So I'm going to replace those with a very similar element but this time from the phone number picker. So I'm looking for the selected phone number from the list that's going to be the phone number that the text message is sent to and then I'm also going to change uh, this so it was 11 before but I'm now changing it to 13 and I'm going to show you why just about now so when I uh, test this app if I uh, put in my text message data and this time I have this choose a recipient button which loads up uh, a list of contacts stored in the phone so although this is the emulator you can um, add contacts to test with uh, you can do that through menu uh, and then the contact section, press add a contact. T contact sorry. So I have two uh, phone numbers here. One is obviously invalid because it only has 10 digits uh, and dummy one is the valid one that has 11 digits. Um, the problem is though the way that the Android operating system represents a phone number as a string it actually includes these two dashes in so a valid phone number becomes uh, length 13 rather than length 11. So now when I test it with dummy 2 what should happen is that this second test fails and just like before I get my error message good but then if I press the choose a recipient button again and this time choose dummy one uh, because including the dashes this phone number has 13 digits it should tell me that the text message has been sent okay success uh, so what we've gone through in this tutorial is using some of the, sto uh, the social components to allow the phone to be able to access the contacts from the address book and also to be able to send text messages.